You're listening to the family of Te Gita podcast. A message from Akatu. Sleep paralysis. Beloved friends of light, many of you have experienced a state that is known as sleep paralysis. Let's delve into this place of awareness and explore the causes and types of manifestations that occur with this phenomenon. The experience of feeling paralyzed can be terrifying to everyone. Even with this happening temporarily, many will have panic and anxiety in fleeting moments. The feeling of having no control over the situation at hand can sometimes allow the mind to create scenarios that are not true. But in other instances, one can observe their surroundings with shock as beings from other realms come close. We will discuss all of these aspects. For most people that experience sleep paralysis, the assurance that it will end in one to two minutes will bring solace. When you are fully awake and remembering the terror of paralysis, you may meditate and reprogram the subconscious mind. This would be with affirmations and words of healing. Relaxing with deep breathing will allow the body-mind connection to sync with the feelings of peace and tranquility. The cause for sleep paralysis is a state of consciousness just above the REM, or rapid eye movement of sleep. The brain has not quite adjusted and you may feel as though you are awake, and yet part of the brain activity is registering sleep patterns that would show otherwise. You are dreaming awake. All of life as a human is facets of dreaming awake. Dreams in deep slumber are active with stories and feelings that are created from your psyche of experience. In your dreams of slumber, you experience wakefulness as lucid dreams. Your life as you know it to be until leaving the body is called a waking dream. There are two phases of the phenomenon of sleep paralysis that begin with observation. Instant progression to body paralysis with the belief that what is seen is real and to be feared in folds. There are two types of hallucinations that will occur in conjunction with sleep paralysis. The first shocking hallucinations can occur with relaxation just before entering the sleep phase of REM. This is called hypnagogic and the mind is active even though the brain is changing with levels of awareness and consciousness. Anything is possible and many experience flying, dark forms, faces, animals and scenery. With the transition to sleep, paralysis of the body can happen and fear ensues. The next obvious moment of the onset of sleep paralysis can happen with the ending of REM as one begins to awaken. This is called hypnopompic, and hallucinations can also be vivid and seem very real becoming aware of actual surroundings while also seeing visuals of mind-created activity can be terrifying for many. In all communications, we allow darkness to be revealed as truth is brought forward. For everything that is an illusion of fear and disbelief, there is a counterpart of truth and light. As a powerful soul visiting planet Earth, you arrived with gifts of sight and interaction. Let's move to these with a greater understanding in connection with sleep paralysis. The journey through the astral plane is available to all humans and souls in origin. The creative power of the mind is real as thoughts create matter. As you relax in meditation or before sleep, you are able to access and experience the fourth density of creative endeavor. Knowing that some aspects are created by your psyche, Know in truth that the entire experience is full of entities and galactic races that are very real. Regardless of knowing what is real and what is created by the mind, nothing can harm you or touch you. This density is safe and merely a place to explore and create. As you remain in this relaxed state of being, many entities can come very close to you. They may appear all around you. Races from throughout the galaxy that are curious to see humans and interact in moments will also appear. This is the manner of seeing that Kabamer experienced with a gray during moments of sleep paralysis. Being awake and aware of this presence that was very close, Lakeha stood near and ended the scenario. 
These encounters are real and entities enjoy taking advantage of the momentary state of being where one cannot move. Sleep paralysis often occurs with those having sleep apnea or narcolepsy. In both of these conditions, sleep is interrupted in a momentary phase of transition. Hypnagogic or hypnopompic hallucinations can flow openly within the consciousness of the experiencer. There are many things that can be done to avoid sleep paralysis as you promote deep and restful sleep. Preparing for bed for several hours with dim lighting, soft music and meditation will allow you to disconnect from voices and sounds in your busy life. Enjoying meals earlier than just before sleep will allow the body to rest without interruption. Not drinking liquids just before going to bed will assist with fewer sleep interruptions and assure deeper relaxation with full rim. Sleep is important for rejuvenation and cell repair. You have control over many aspects of health, both physical and mental. Avoiding disruption as much as possible allows you to avoid sleep paralysis in most instances. Remember always, that you are safe and this is a passing experience of life on the earth plane of existence. Eniki Maia. I love you so. Akatu.